Hello everyone and welcome back, hope you are doing alright. Behind me is a powder snow farm. Just a little large, is it, 9216 cauldrons to be exact. This farm uses no hopper mine carts, only 3 hoppers minimum, and is rather cheap and lag friendly given the size. Why do you need so much powder snow? It's because powder snow is the best snow. It is the only block in the game that can be dispensed, pushed, and picked up automatically. It lands in with snow blocks, creating a good trap as entities fall through it. It can also damage entities, especially blazes and magma cubes, dealing 5 times the amount of damage, and reliably break down magma cubes to farm the new frog lights. It can also put out entities on fire, and break your fall, even in the nether. In order to understand how this farm is built we need to understand how its position in the world. Snow can only generate within a certain range of the player. This range is a 128 block radius of the player rounded into 16 by 16 chunks shown by pressing F3 and G, forming a cylinder where snow can accumulate. This farm uses a 6 by 6 chunk range, lined up against the borders, so that all cauldrons can accumulate snow, no matter the player's position in the farm, giving it the 9216 cauldron number. Here is a single row, the player rides on waterlogged rails, looking straight up, holding the bucket in the use item button to try to bucket snow out of every cauldron. Since every slot in the player's inventory is full, any buckets of snow the player collects will drop out of their inventory and into the water stream. The player doesn't drown because its hut is above water long enough to recover breath. Every 7 blocks we move the module down one block, using the water on the upper level to move the items. We avoid moving the player into water sources because they are always holding the use item button, and would bucket the water otherwise. If all 16 buckets are used, the player will just keep placing the snow bucket, even if the cauldron is filled. At the end the player lands on honey blocks, and clips onto the rail below, while the items ride over it, and land into the output. Honey block is perfect because the player doesn't suffocate, while also not being able to trap the snow buckets. The player lands on this rail setup, which will move the player to the right no matter which row they are on. This is the main station. The mine cart rides off the rail and runs into the glass pane. The trip wire detects if the player is in the mine cart. This is also the spot where you can exit slash enter the farm. The trip wire activates the stropper clock, dropping empty buckets for the player to refill. Any overflow lands in this hopper. Extra buckets are inputted from this other hopper. The bucket storage is up to you. This command block is just to refill the chest. The trip wire also turns off the pulse extender, sending off the player after delay. In the case a player uses all 15 buckets and is holding a snow bucket, buttons and signs on the roof prevent the snow from being placed. At the station, the player empties the snow in this cauldron, allowing the player to pick up more empty buckets, and spit out a snow bucket which is picked up by this water stream. After the station the player is sent back up to the top. It will ride along until there is no rail, it will drop down onto the detector rail, activating the piston to push in the rail behind it. At the end is a reset line pushing all the rails back, restarting the loop. The pistons can't be moved closer because they will block the mine cart, so we use trap doors, slabs and fence gates as filler blocks to allow the mine cart through. Now you might be wondering how much this farm produces. Well, it's pretty slow. This farm this size only produces around 750 to 850 snow buckets per hour on average. That's given quote normal weather conditions, the fact I tick warped in multiple sessions each for over 30 hours, and that powder snow accumulation is just slow in general. This can hypothetically be made larger and slightly faster, however not all the cauldrons will be inside of the snow range for 100% of the time. That is about it for now, there should be a world download in the description. Thank you for the support on the last video, bye bye.